What is up everybody, Dan and the Fireman here. This is actually a pretty big fear for a lot of motorcycle riders, even car drivers, where a vehicle is going to overtake another one and we're going to get super close to that vehicle. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how we can maximize our safety in a situation like this. When I say maximize, it's not a safe situation, but we're going to try our best not to get hit. So let's go ahead and jump into this thing. Now what I do with the very first frame is just take a quick look at it. So let's take a look at this. What we have here is a two lane road with oncoming traffic. We also have uh, no escape paths really, barely a shoulder but good enough for a motorcyclist. We'll bring that up pretty soon. And then we also have a blind turn coming up ahead. No clouds so we have a lot of sun. It looks like it might be a little bit of evening, you know, it's it, what, all these different things. The biggest thing here is what is it that we have control over. We have control over our own vision and we have control over what lane position we're going to be in when it comes to that type of vision so if we move forward just a little bit we see vehicles coming up ahead now we should be in yellow stage and that's typically the zoned in uh, relaxing mode but the moment you see something like this where we see two vehicles kind of side by side with a one lane road we should definitely jump into orange stage and that is exactly what this motorcycle rider did so take a quick look at his hand right here on the left so he's gonna as soon as he sees that he perceived it and he's gonna go ahead and apply his horn so he's starting to apply his horn now this is gonna be a decent step and this is is perfectly fine if you want to do that but right away as soon as I see something like this my first reaction isn't the horn the horn is going to be somewhat a little bit later okay so remember do what you need to do to protect yourself so we're in lane position one and a half maybe two so right in the center of the lane roughly a little bit more to the left now since we see two vehicles we shouldn't be seeing two vehicles it's a one lane road so that's going to tell you that this vehicle is going to be in our path to travel. So what do we have here? We can't go to the left because now we're going to run into oncoming traffic. We stay where we're at. We could possibly get hit by oncoming traffic too. So what can we do? Let's move over to the right. Okay, so let's move over to lane position three. It's a little bit hard, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little arrow right here. But what you can also do is utilize that little bit of a shoulder. I mean, that, that line right there, that white line is about as wide as probably this motorcycle tire. So we can actually get over an extra little step and really ride that line, but it's going to be a little bit difficult we need to utilize a lot of our fundamental skills of keeping balance on the bike so if we move forward just a little bit more at this point it's like you know what I don't like this situation at all this is definitely a red stage immediately okay so we have somebody in our path of travel and we're gonna be closing a distance really quick because they're coming towards us move over at this point move over don't worry about the horn don't worry about anything move over to lane position three or as far over as you possibly can while slowing down because when you slow it down it's going to be a little bit easier for you to balance that bike, especially in the middle of a turn, trying to navigate a small little line and to hold it. So go ahead and roll off that throttle, move over a little bit, and get ready if you absolutely if you absolutely have to swerve into the grass, call a day. Good thing you're wearing full protective gear because that's part of the smart rider system is that you're going to acquire it and you're going to utilize full PPE helmet, gloves, jacket, pants, and boots. So red stage, move over right now. So still not, I mean, this is a bad spot. It's just, there's nothing we could do. I would not swerve and try to make this gap because more than likely the car driver that is in my lane is going to want to get over his lane as soon as possible. So that gap's going to be absolutely closed. That's a bad escape path. The escape path that you want to utilize is off to the right. Now we can already see the car driver that is being passed is moving over. He recognizes the situation. He's like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. And he's moving over to allow the person that's passing him to get back in his lane because he's being a dumb dumb, And he's going to possibly hurt us as motorcycle riders. So kudos to that guy. Bad job on that guy. No sticker for you. So right here, don't lift your hand off. We need our primary controls in this situation. It's one thing to scream and yell at another person. But in this situation, we're still in red stage. Don't jump over and, and cause a and scene or remove, basically. This is the biggest thing is removing your hand off the handlebars when you need it for a swerve or you need it for a clutch or you need it. For, all these different things. Don't do that, okay? But what he did do during that time was actually push on his right hand to move his bike over. Or, since we're in the middle of a turn, maybe it just naturally happens since we're in the middle of a turn, he just kind of straightened it up and he started going towards the outside. Either way, move over the outside because if we look at this right here, we're in lane position two, just like earlier. And then we're going to get to the point where we're pretty much past them. And look at look how much further we are. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we're over on more so on the other lane. We're moving over to lane position three. That's what saved them. 
not flipping him off and taking his hands off the handlebars. What saved him is that he moved over. He could have easily clipped a mirror on this, and if this car driver just wasn't paying attention at all and stood in our lane the whole time, we were going to get hit. So moving your hand off the handlebars and honking the horn is not going to save you in this situation. The thing that saved him in this situation was moving over to lane position 3, either consciously or subconsciously. And that's what we're going to learn from this, guys. If you're ever in a position where something like this happens, where you see this, look at what you have. Okay, you have a lot of room off to the right. Use it. Horn and flipping somebody off is not going to solve your problem. Solving your problem is moving off to the right. Okay, guys? Guys, if you have any questions about this close call or any close calls or crashes or anything like that or anything, really, come on, join the Discord. Discord's absolutely free. We have over 3,000 members on the Discord, and it's basically a giant chat room where we all get together and I hang out in. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do the live streams, and I incorporate the Discord quite a bit on that. So join that up and see what it's all about, and enjoy the time you have stuck at home, not being able to go anywhere. Anyways, we'll be seeing you there.